Welcome to our tutorial about the Steinberg key. In this lesson, I'm going to be talking about that little USB connector device that came with your Cubase software. This is what's known as a dongle or an e-licensor, and it's basically a copyright protection device. More and more companies are providing these with their software products to prevent people from pirating the software simply by copying the CD or DVD. You'll need your key to obtain updates from Steinberg. You'll also need your key for purchasing any product upgrades. You need to register the key with Steinberg after you create an account at My Steinberg. Don't insert the key before you install Cubase. You insert the key into one of your computer's USB ports before you launch Cubase after installation. And Cubase won't launch or run if the key is not in your computer. If you remove the key while Cubase is running, you'll probably crash your session and possibly crash your computer. Conveniently, you can store all your Steinberg licenses on one single dongle, and this key is what stores your Cubase 5 license. You can see which licenses are installed on your key by going to the Syncrosoft License Control Center, Start, Programs on your Windows platform, or the Applications folder on your Macintosh. The eLicensor Control Center launches. Let me just drag it into my video screen here. If you purchase more than one software product from Steinberg, for example, additional plugins that you want to use with Cubase, all licenses would be listed here. You don't need to have multiple keys taking up all your USB ports at the same time. Here's the license download wizard that you launch to, for example, install an upgrade. If you're having problems downloading your license, for example, due to firewalls or other issues, just log into your Steinberg account and write for support. The response time is very good. Be sure to take care of your key. If you lose it, Steinberg will only transfer your license one time to a new key. And you can buy a new key from any audio shop, but take very good care of those keys. This concludes our lesson about using the Steinberg key.